There you go, that's a clean hole. That's what he said. <laughs> Today we're gonna drill for gummies. What does that mean? Basically, I have these silicone gummies here that are like just silicone inserts that go in the holes of the FC to dampen it, basically to soft mount it. I got these from Raceflight. Uh, I don't think that Preston and company like it when you order these for boards that are not Raceflight boards. But I don't know, I ordered, they shipped them to me, so it's all good. You have a couple of alternatives for mounting your FC. I'm sure this is not new to a lot of you guys, but there is rubber bobbins, like these. There's really good silicone bobbins, which uh, I think I have somewhere, like those. This is really dirty, but these are silicone, but they're a little tall. These are from Roto Geeks. I found that the dampening with these, with these bobbins is okay. With the silicone ones, it's better. But the problem is that it makes the, the stack a little too high. On some builds, there's no problem. But on some other ones, you want, where you want the FC to be really low, they are too tall. On top of that, I don't think these rubber ones are really as soft as you would want. The other thing people do is they put O-rings at the top and bottom of the FC, and that kind of works, but the problem with that is that the screw still touches the wall of the hole. So it dampens it a little bit, but it does touch and make it so the vibrations get through. It's better than nothing, but it's not perfect. With the with these silicone gummies, the nice thing about it is that there's a full wall of silicone. So when you stick them in there, basically the screw sort of floats in there and doesn't make direct contact with the board. Now, the thing is that very few boards come with it. I know that the Barwell F4 does, the C4S, uh, CL Racing comes with them, the Race Flight stuff all comes with them. And I think it's gonna be a standard very soon, but in the meantime, uh, it isn't. So I've done it with a few ESCs. Some of them have space, some of them don't. ESCs don't really need dampening, but I do it in, on builds that are really stiff. In case you have a crash and the frame bends, if you have steel screws in there, it could bend the bore and pop out components because I've had it happen before. But on the FC, it's where it's really good because it actually helps reduce noise going into the gyro. On a board like this, which is an MPU 6000, this is a Motorlab Tempest F4, it's not as critical because this is a gyro that basically doesn't suck up as much noise as something else. But this is going to go into a 6 inch quad, which are known for vibrations. And regardless, anytime you can dampen, it's good. It'll make the flight better. But you got to finish with 532, that is 532 bit. That is gonna make the hole big enough so that this will fit. And it's also what Race Flight recommends. Now, don't do it on every single board. Some boards, it'll not work. I know some people do it on the Betaflight boards, but look at how close the edge of the wall of that hole is. If you drill it out, most likely you're gonna knock off that corner. I would not do it on a board like this. And also, if you see components that are way too close to the holes, don't do it because you might likely knock a component out. Now, as you can see on Moto's board here, there's like a mile of space between the next component over or the next pad in those holes. There's plenty of space. And I know Richard at Multiculture Builders has already drilled a few of these and I've seen a couple of guys in the uh, the long range groups have, have done it, so I expect it should be no problem. I've drilled a bunch by hand like this and I haven't damaged a single one yet, so it should be fine. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a corner down so that all the stuff falls down and doesn't fall on the board. Regardless, I'm gonna use compressor to clean it. Another thing I've done is I have actually coated a board before with silicon conformal coating before drilling in order to avoid stuff getting into the components. But this one should be fine. I see a lot of fiberglass. I don't see a lot of copper in those holes, so I don't think it's actually gonna make a mess of metal anyway. So let's just do it. This is gonna act like a vice, because it's on the table.
that's good. It's a clean hole. Okay, next hole. Here we go. Trying to find a good, comfortable way to hold it. That should do it. Yeah. Okay, next one. Getting a little bit more confidence of going faster. That's good. Last one. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Let me see, I think I, ah, I'll just use it here. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty good. With the um, drill press, it'll be a lot better, the holes, but I, I don't even know how I'm gonna hold it down on a drill press with all these components out. So now we are going to take, this is an M2 um, driver, and we're going to sort of squish them in there sideways, and then you just press them in. Careful not to tear it, this is silicone, it's kind of soft, but just don't force it. You kind of like start little by little, just kind of like cramming it in there, and eventually the one side pops out of the other side. Hold on. She's gonna make something a little bit bigger so I don't poke a hole in it. That's it, now let's just start putting it over this side. Come on, you can do it. Time for the small driver. And there it is. It's a little twisted, ah, there we go. So see how nice. Now, when you mount it, it just freely floats in there. Just like that, just a little bit of give. And that's it. When you order the gummies from Race Flight, there is a something in the description that it says to use a 565, what, what did I say earlier? 532. But I, I noticed it's still a little tight, like when you put the screw in here, <clears throat> like it barely wants to go in and I'm pretty sure that's gonna not gonna help with vibrations. I know this is not gonna work with every board, <coughs> excuse me, but this board, as you can see, has plenty of space in it, and it's all fiberglass. There's no copper there anyway. I put an 1164 right here to make the hole bigger. Now, careful. This is a bigger bit, so if you run an 1164, do it at your own discretion. I am not going to make myself responsible for you screwing up your flight controller. So let's drill this one and test fit, how, see how the gummy works on this one. That should do it. Pretty good. Now, to confirm that that is good, we're gonna put a second gum in here. And hopefully it'll be a little bit looser. Okay. But still hold, hold in place. Mm -hmm. Now, if Moto is seeing, Moto Moto is seeing this video, he's probably cringing right now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna break it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna try and get a warranty. It'll be fine. It's gonna fly good. Okay. Oh, there it is. That's it. Okay, so that actually slipped in a lot easier. And where is it? And when we put the screw in. Yeah, that's way better. That's much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill all the other ones for 1164. And I, I, I'm gonna do it because I know this board has enough space. So. There you go, that's how it looks when it's done.